Today we're going to be adding some flair to our SharePoint sites with the CDB section break web part. If you want to find out more about SharePoint and Teams, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got lots of free guides and information that we send out on a regular basis, so make sure you subscribe now so you don't miss out. So you've created your attractive SharePoint site, and if you're not sure how to do that, check out our other video on how to make SharePoint sites look great. As I scroll down this page, you'll see I've got lots of engaging content on here, um, nicely designed, but it's, it's a bit flat. When I'm going down here, all of these different sections are just a straight line, they're just flat. So how do we add some extra flair to them? So the first thing we need to do is to edit this page. And we're going to add our web part above this colored theme section. So I can see this one has currently got the strong theme color. There's also the other options available within that theme that I'm using here. So what we do is we click the plus button above that section, choose a full width section. It's really important that we choose that option because that's going to give us the best effect. And I'm going to choose a CDB section breaks web part now this will default to the curve, so that looks good already. But if we click Edit Web Parts, you'll see there's lots of different options in here to pick different images. So for example, I could choose clouds, I could choose zigzags, I could use waves. Don't worry if you see this white margin, that will disappear when you publish the page. So I'm going to use Curve Small in this case, and I'm going to click the Publish button. And we can see now that when we scroll down that page, we've got that nice attractive curve that we see. But if we wanted to also add that curve to the bottom of it, so it's not such an abrupt end to the page, we can click the edit button again. And this time at the bottom of that colored theme section, we're going to click the plus button, choose another full width section and choose the CDB section break web part. As you can see, the curve is the wrong way around, so we're just going to edit the web part. And what we'll do is we'll choose, instead of the top orientation, we'll choose the bottom one. And that gives us a nice, uh, some nice symmetry to that section. You can also see here that you do have the options for the different types of theme colors that we have. So if I was having a, maybe a soft colored theme um, uh, section, then I could choose a soft button. If it was uh, actually the strong colored theme going on to a soft colored section, which is the section below it, then I could choose that option. In this case, I'm just going to use strong and white as my options. You can also see there's a find out more button at the bottom of this page, which takes you back to this video and blog post so that you can refresh your memory on how to use it. So once you've used that, and I click the publish button, you'll see that we've got this really cool, nice effect as we scroll down that page, that curved section there. So I hope that's helped you and given you a few ideas how you can make your SharePoint sites more attractive and look good. And if you're interested in our web parts, then please feel free to get in touch on our website and please subscribe to these videos to get more useful information and video guides on SharePoint and Teams in both business and education.